Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lent you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Loose all and crimps out to the wind. Sail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Shall die! Aye. That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters! All hands to cannons! Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them, shall we? Aye, good thinking.
what we are taking. We can improve the ship, Captain. Blues down! Take some wind! We're we going to hit them, sir!
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety you've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. You see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Damn it, Captain! Human... Hey friend, want to go low profile? <laughs> I'll talk to the powers that be straight away, my innocent friend. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's hard. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. 